Welcome into Gibbs Stadium where tonight the Wofford Terriers will play their 2015 home opener in a place where they did not lose last season, 5-0 and a year ago at home. But at the same time, Wofford trying to bounce back from a 49-10 loss at the hands of the Clemson Tigers last week at Death Valley. The Terriers at 0-1 take on Tennessee Tech, a team they have not faced since 1949. They also come in at 0-1, losing on the road last week at FBS opponent Houston. Here are your highlights. Defense has already been out in the field for a while here. Third and goal from the one. Full house. Three men in the backfield. Two tight ends for the quarterback. Davis up under center. Turns. Hand off. Willie Davis wants to go up over the top. No signal yet from the official. He didn't get there. It's fourth and goal at about the one foot line. Three men in the backfield. Two tight ends. Up under center, Jared Davis, quarterback sneak, touchdown behind right guard, Tennessee Tech is on the board. Third and one from the 42, wing bone two tight ends this time, turned by Butler, Lorenzo Long pops through the line, breaks tackles 45-50 to the 45, drags the pile down to the Tech 43. Lorenzo Long with a strong run, first down Wofford. Wofford second and 10 now at the Tech 42, and Tech nearly jumped offside out of the wing bone, pitch far corner, Raymond Smith first carry of the year, eludes two tacklers, turns the corner, 40, 35, 30, Raymond Smith down the far sideline to the 28. Wide right Irwin, that's the wide side of the field, one receiver to the left, man in motion near side, he'll get the toss, Will Gay turns the corner, 25, 20, 15 to the 10. A lot of success on this drive, getting to the perimeter and turning the corner. Will Gay with a nice run there. Great job blocking on the outside. Second and goal, center of the field at the two and a half. Two tight ends, wing bone set, man in motion to the near side. Hand off, long right side, churning. And the ball is fumbled into the end zone and they're gonna rule touchdown. Lorenzo Long broke the plane of the end zone before the ball came out. It is a touchdown as he turns to the right side. And I think that's the Wofford offense we've been expecting to see. Third and four at the Terrier 49. Davis, four receivers to either side. Willie Davis, the running back to his right. Play action. Jared Davis throws, nearly intercepted, incomplete. Will take a shotgun snap with a wing to the right and a single man behind him out of the pistol, and he has room on the carry. Near side, Butler, 30. Butler to the 40. Brad Butler up the near sideline, 50 to the 45. Wrestled out of bounds at the Tech 42. Raymond Smith will line up behind him, almost a pistol-like formation. He's slightly to the quarterback's right. And he'll get the handoff. Juke step to his right, takes it straight ahead to the five. Raymond Smith takes the pile down to the four, and that should make it first and goal. It does. Wingbone, two tight ends. Third and goal from the one. Jax stooping low up under center, turns, handoff, left side, second effort. That is a touchdown. As we come back with Wofford up 14 to seven, Tennessee Tech third down and four from the Wofford, 20 on the left hash. Four receivers for Davis, two either side out of the gun, a single back to his right who will stay in to block. Davis under fire, throws off his back foot. It is off the hands of the receiver and intercepted by Nick Ward, Wofford football. Cates couldn't hang on to it. It was a high pass, and Nick Ward has his first career interception. Great play by Nick Ward. Sure hands, and that ends that drive on third down. Now Ward caught the interception at the six-yard line on his knees, so the Terriers will start in a hole offensively, but you take away a field goal opportunity at the very least for Tech. Absolutely. Tech has their drive short-circuited on an interfe interception thrown by Jared Davis. Terriers go out of the wing bone on first down. Quarterback running the option right. He's hit, but he got the ball away. And Will Gay is good yards. 15, 20, 25, spins ahead to the 27. Wofford on the first down, first and 10. And here's Butler back in. Ball at the 38. Again, four down linemen for Tech defensively. With time, Butler will throw to the far side. That is caught at the 50-yard line by Wofford's Logan Christensen. Fourth down and a yard at the 32. Wingbone, man in motion toward the near side. Butler has trouble with the pitch. It's picked up off the ground by one of the Golden Eagles. Tennessee Tech has come up with the football. Trey Darius Goff recovers the fumble. Have trips left a single man to the right. One of the inside receivers now sets up as a wing after going in motion to the left. Davis throwing deep down the middle, incomplete. Ball knocked away at the 20 yard line. Terriers lead it 14 to seven. Last Wofford drive short-circuited by a fumble in Tennessee Tech territory. 
Two receivers left, one to the right. Jacks running the option right. There's the pitch away to his lone back, taking up the far sideline, 20. 25 out to the 30. Will Irwin wide to the left. That is the wide side of the field. One man goes to the right. Wing bone this time. Check again. Four down linemen. Pitch trying to make left corner. Raymond Smith. 25. Ray to the 30. Cuts it back inside. 35. Now wants to make the right corner to the 40. Raymond Smith stutter steps at the 50 and he is down at the Check 49 yard line. Quarterback Evan Jacks out of the gun with two backs stationed behind him. He'll run the option left. Now he's going to look to throw. Sends it deep toward the end zone. Incomplete pass, but we're going to get flags. As the receiver was tied up down there, it was Zach Muller, the tight end. Hammond will snap it. Sanders will hold it. Good snap. Spot down. Marvin's kick on the way, and it is good. Third and goal from the four. Two receivers right, one man to the left. The lone back, Willie Davis, to the right of the quarterback, Jared Davis. Willie Davis handoff churns into the center of the line. He'll Humble. take it down to the two. The ball is out. The Terriers have come up with it. I believe it is Wofford football. It is Terrier football. Willie Davis had the ball knocked out of his hands, and Wofford's going to take over on the turnover. Brad Butler has split time with Evan Jacks at quarterback. He's in there out of the wing bone. Handoff. Will Gay cut back run to his left. Spins away from a tackler at the 10, and then is waylaid at the 15, but he is close to a first down. First and 10 Terriers from their 21. They spread it out. Two left, one right. Out of the gun, Butler fakes the dive, wants to make left corner, breaks the tackle. He's to the 25, far sideline 30, cuts it back inside at the 40, 45. He'll be slung down inside the 50 at the 48 in the tech end of the field. Wofford up 17-7, first and 10 at the 25. Play action for Butler out of the wing bone, throws down the middle, man wide open. Hunter Windham at the five, touchdown. Hunter Windham on the catch. Two receivers left, a wing to the left. One man goes to the right. Wofford, three down linemen, seven in the box. Back to throw Davis off his back foot over the head of the receiver and almost intercepted. He wanted to hit Cooper Jackson out of the backfield, and the pass is nearly picked off. It's Rivera, hey, wasn't it? Yeah, Malik Rivera with a diving try. Couldn't quite get there at second down and 10. He scooped it. Like Freddie Freeman. Second and 10, Tech from their 32 and a half. Trips left, one man to the short side, that's the right. Flat pass to Van Leer on the screen to the running back and he is hammered. And is going to lose a yard on the catch at the 31 yard line. And this attempt will be even shorter. This will be a 21 yard try for Marvin. He's two for two on his kicks this year. Seven for eight in his career. The holder is Sanders, good snap, spot down, kick is good. Wofford adds to their lead. 11 and a half minutes to play in the ball game. Wofford up 20 with the ball, third and five from the 19. Jacks play action, drops to throw, rolls to his left, throws it deep down the near side. Irwin's got it at the 40, he is dropped at the 35 at the 34. Will Irwin with a catch up over his head against the single coverage of Anthony Flemister and Evan Jacks put that one on the money. What a beautiful play action, reminiscent of uh, a guy I thought was the best at play action, David Green back in his Georgia days. Man, what a play, great grab by Will Irwin. The outside man is Christian, wingbone this time, and motion right Colvin. Jacks running the option in that direction, has a seam, 35-30. Evan Jacks, far side, 25-20, first down run. Evan Jacks goes out of bounds at the far boundary at the 18-yard line. Second and goal from the five, center of the field, again out of the wingbone with long your fullback. Wide out split to either side, pitch near corner. Blocker out front, carrying, diving for the pylon. Will Gay, they're gonna spot him out at the half yard line. Third and goal coming up. Crowd wanted a touchdown there. If you're watching on the SoCon Digital Network, there's the play. Ooh. Will Gay was close. Very close. Third and goal from the one. Evan Jacks turns, handoff up over the top. Touchdown run, Will Gay. They're gonna get him in the end zone one way or another. Terriers add to their lead. Now it is 33 to 7. Coach, I'd imagine that had to feel pretty good. You, you score 34 points. Let's start with the offense. Uh, you, you swap quarterbacks quite a bit, but first Brad and then Evan. Well, I think they, they both executed well. Uh, the offensive line created some space. Thought our backs uh, did a nice job. Uh, 
all the coaches did a nice job uh, adjusting during the game on how they were playing us defensively. Uh, they're a solid rock football team. Uh, everything that we did, we had to earn. Um, I was pleased with uh, pass protection again. Uh, we, we threw the ball some and, and, uh, and did a nice job there. Uh, we blocked them at the line of scrimmage. Uh, I thought uh, they had a physical front, and, and uh, we got after them pretty good. Uh, defensively, the, they played great. They really did. And, uh, you know, part of those two scores was we didn't get it done from an offensive standpoint. So uh, they played hard. Uh, a lot of guys out there that, that are really young guys. We, we've got several starters that are on the bench with uh, some nagging injuries and things like that. So it was good to see them get a lot of reps. Uh, big concern, uh, our kickoff coverage, we got to do something. Uh, we're, we're just not very good in that phase. And um, I don't know if we have to change some personnel or, or what the deal is. First possession of the game, you, you go for it fourth and five. You don't come up with the first down, so you go four and out. Next possession, you march down the field with ease. Was there an adjustment made very quickly early in the game? Well, I, I think you, you got to see how they're going to try to defend you. Um, once we kind of had a, a handle on how they were going to play us, then uh, there are certain plays that, that we feel are, are better plays against example they're an eight-man front team that that's what they were playing so uh, we did a nice job blocking on the perimeter uh, again I, I thought coach Lang did a nice job calling it uh, you know swapping uh, plays uh, you know kind of moving all over the play, play sheet a little bit but you know he, he was seeing things from up in the box that uh, uh, you know they, they were trying to overload to stop some things that we were doing and that created uh, some uh, some space for us to go the other way. You're up 17-7 to seven to start the third quarter. Tech drives the ball into the red zone, and right. you come up with a fumble recovery right. inside the five. Talk about that play and, and how big that was in terms of momentum. I thought it was huge. Uh, that they, they can score at any time. They, they have quality receivers. Uh, that number three, I mean, he, he is super fast. And uh, he's one of those guys, he's tough to him up. Uh, there were several times, quite frankly, we missed him right in the hole. And uh, we were able to contain him. Uh, I, I thought coverage-wise, we, we, were, we were sound. Uh, I don't think we blew a coverage or anything like that. I thought uh, when they threw the ball, we broke on the ball well. Um, we were physical uh, up front. And, uh, and overall, it, it was a quality game for us. Uh, you'd like to be mistake-free. and. We're going to work really hard this week to try to be mistake free. Uh, we play Idaho out there. Uh, it's going to be a long trip, uh, but uh, if we tighten up on some things and uh, square some things away, I, I think we'll have our chance out there as well. You ever been to Idaho? I have trout fishing. <laughs> no, no I, trout fishing this time. No, no <laughs> trout fishing this time. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Nick, big interception for you in this ball game. Take us through the play. Uh, we had we're, we were running man man coverage. Um, I, went, I was just playing playing uh, the quarterback's eyes and just happened to get the interception. Uh, what did it mean for the defense, especially, to get this win after playing a very talented Clemson win, uh, team last week? Right. Yeah, it was crucial that we had this win. That way, we could go um, go into Idaho and start our conference uh, on a winning record. So that, that it was really vital for us. You knew going against Tech you were going to face Brock McCoy. He had over 260 receiving yards last week at Houston, which is an FBS team. What was it like to keep him? What did you guys do to keep him in check? Yeah, we watched a lot of film on him, and a lot of, a lot of what they ran was stuttering goes, and the, the defense didn't have their eyes right. So that was our main focus in practice, to have our eyes right and stay back for the pass. Jaleel Green didn't play this week. Uh, talk about the guy alongside you at safety, Malik Rivera. Oh, Malik played great tonight. Uh, he, he stepped up uh, in a big role, strong safety, and uh, I, thought he, I thought he did really well. So, Brad, uh, when did you learn you were going to make your first college start? Uh, today, pregame meal about 3 o'clock. So that was, <laughs> gave me a good four hours to mentally prepare. <laughs> so that was, that was interesting, but I, I don't think it was too big a deal. We were all ready mentally prepared because we, we didn't know who was going to start, so that way we all prepare mentally for it. So. 
you were without T.J. Chamberlain, you were without Mike Jones on the offensive line. Talk about the job your, your linemen did for you tonight. Wow, they did. I mean, they did a fantastic job. Especially, you could see them in the second half. They were in better shape than the other team. They just kept pounding them, pounding them. The second half was easy for us because, I mean, we were getting movement and they were. It was just an easy second half because of the offensive line, because of what they did. And every time I dropped back pass, I never felt pressure. It was, it was really, it was nice. Talk about the touchdown strike to Hunter. We had talked about that play at halftime, so we, we said it was a right hash play. So when we got down near the 30 and we got on the right hash, I was like, come on, call it, call it. And we, they ran it in, and I heard Ray Smith tell Hunter, like, hey, Hunter, like, you get on that side, score, score. So I was like, heck yeah, this is the play. And so it was a good call. We talked about it. Coach Lang saw it in the box, so it was wide open, and I just made it throw. So with tonight's 34-14 win over Tennessee Tech, the Terriers even their record at 1-1, one one, a good night rushing the football close to 500 yards on the ground. Now the Terriers are going to load up the charter plane on Friday and head across the country to Moscow, Idaho, where they will take on their second FBS foe of the year, the University of Idaho Vandals. That'll be a 5 o'clock Eastern time kickoff next Saturday. We'll have radio coverage at 4.30 on the Wofford IMG Sports Network. Network. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.